All right, David. I feel like your fan base is in a uh, stunned emotional state. Go ahead. You get first crack at it. Kenny had a blank look on his face. You were spinning around in your chair. What? Tell look, me where I'm off base. I, I, I really don't think you're way off base. I do think this is a close game, but I do think it leans Alabama in my mind. Not because, oh, they're just the great Alabama. They're not the great Alabama of old. But what I have a problem with is you're saying, okay, which is probably happening, eight to ten times if J.J.'s healthy, he'll have to run the ball. Well, that's including the hits that he's going to take in the pocket because that defensive line worries me. Not if they don't throw it. I think they will have to throw it, though, because they can't run the ball. Michigan hasn't run the ball like they did last year. Last year, they were a really, really good running team. They have not done that at the same clip this season. So it worries me that they will have to throw the ball to hopefully win this game, and the hits that he takes concerns me. What also concerns me is that while the receivers aren't used in the offense for Michigan, that, to me, allows the corners to kind of sink in a little bit, kind of cheat a little bit. And Caleb Downs, their safety, their freshman safety. He's a stud. He is really good. But he's a freshman. I get that. He's a stud, but he's a freshman. I understand that. But he worries me in the tight end front of that passing game. So that defensive line for Alabama is what concerns me the most. They can't run the ball already for Michigan. So it will be a close game. All right, so here's my question will extend the play to make it third and three, and it won't have to be third and six, third and seven. All right, hey, listen. Line up. Let me hear the opinions. Nobody wants to hear them after the game was played. I mean, Kenny, you're the SEC guy. You just told me you've woken up every day with a different opinion about the game. When you heard me go through it, what's your takeaway? I have two things that lean me towards Alabama, but again, handicapping or picking this game to me is an absolute nightmare. Um, You have Saban with a bunch of time to prepare. We saw what that looks like last time he had time to prepare. And we, uh, and I mean, he just beat Georgia with less time to prepare. And uh, we know what Jim Harbaugh is in bowl games. I'm going to take that aside, though. I'm going to push that off to the side because we already know these things. Um, My question is, what happens if Michigan has to play from behind? We've seen Alabama play from behind and play pretty well coming from behind. We have not seen what Michigan has to do to come back from a seven a 10-point deficit. We Mm -hmm. don't know what that looks like. That, to me, is concerning because if Alabama does go up early or go up at some point in this game by 7, 10 points, I don't know that I trust or can trust Michigan's offense to be able to launch those throws, to be able to make those plays. I'm not saying they can't. This isn't a shot at Michigan. I just don't know that I've seen it. No, and and Kenny, that's the beauty of it. I mean, you play the games because sometimes you got to see certain things get answered. You know, it's part of Michigan's credit. Look, they didn't play anybody. But in the big games they played, they didn't fall behind. You know how you can decide not to throw the ball against Penn State? Don't fall behind. Do you know how you don't have to get into a shootout with Ohio State? Don't fall behind. I haven't seen it. And if they do, well, now we're going to get into something different. I told you, if they fall behind or somehow they're in a game where McCarthy's got to throw it 30-plus times, yeah, of course. I think you're for a long day. But I have no evidence to suggest that that's going to happen. So let's let's get at Let's just see where people are at with it. What do the ticket texters have to say? Alabama's beatable. Not going to be easy, but Michigan can do it. Michigan 27 to 24. Mike, Michigan has to win the turnover battle versus Bama. Otherwise, they have no shot. We've lost that big time last year against TCU. We have to play clean. They don't take care of the ball, Mike. J.J., two pick sixes versus TCU. He makes throws every game that should absolutely be intercepted, and that concerns me against Alabama. At this point, I'm with Michigan. The same was with them beating Ohio State or the Lions winning the North. Until and unless I see it, I don't believe they can win a bowl game. All right. Uh, And again, if you're going to call it and just say Saban versus Harbaugh mismatch, go ahead. I'm not going to get in some blood war about it. I'm not. I can't argue your point. I just don't know how valid it is because those teams aren't this team. It's different. Let's go to Rob Bright, 97-1. What's up, Robbie? Hey, Mike. How are you? I'm okay, man. Are, are you ready for Oregon State, Notre Dame? Let's let's break that one down. Yeah, no, I, I, Oregon State, I mean, <laughs> well, shoot, Notre Dame's whole offense is completely new, and Oregon State Rob, lost, you know, 30 players. Rob, so. when I did that bowl game for Cash the Ticket, 
I spent more time explaining to people who wasn't playing than I was able to talk about the actual game. We have arrived at outer space. Carry on. I think every single starter on offense for Notre Dame is not playing, I believe. Correct. I could be wrong. Um, So I I come at this. I don't subscribe to the Bama. You know, it's Bama and it's the SEC. I like watching games and forming an opinion. I think Alabama has four first-round draft picks, and it should be five. Like David said, like Caleb Downs, if he wasn't a freshman, it's like Brock Bowers, right? There's no reason why Brock Bowers shouldn't have went to the NFL after his first year. I agree with David. Caleb Downs is a stud. But three of the four first-rounders are on defense. And, Mike, Dallas Turner, um, he's going to be a giant, first of all. Can you imagine him and Kayvon Thibodeau on that defensive line for the Giants? I mean, holy smokes. Um, I think he's going to go in the top ten. I think he's going to be a giant next year. But I don't. You didn't mention, I could be wrong, but you didn't mention Michigan's biggest liability, and that's the offensive line. I did. I mentioned their tackles can't pass protect worth bleep. Okay. Yeah, I I just think that's the biggest mismatch. And they held Brock Bowers to 50 yards uh, two or three weeks ago. You had mentioned, like, the slot. I think that they're going to do some crazy things with Terry on Arnold, with Kool-Aid McKinstry, Malachi Moore, Caleb Downs. They're secondary – you could call some of them linebackers, Mike. I, I, I mean, it's their secondary is disgusting. And, you know, coming up, looking at this game objectively as not a fan of either team, but they're both very talented. I don't see how Michigan's offense is going to generate any points. Oh, I looked, I, I already, I mean, Rob, to me, I don't think there'll be a lot of points in the game, but this has got to be a J.J. McCarthy game. This has to be a game where he is able to, I, I'm assuming he's healthy, He's going to be able to use his legs, and that's where he gets dangerous. Like, did you see, like, Dallas Turner probably shouldn't even be playing the first half. Did you see the hit that he put on Jaden Daniels in the second half? Yeah. Oh, no, was that? Yeah, yeah, that was, oh, no, so that was a couple games ago against LSU. I mean, he buried him in that ground. Like, J.J. McCarthy better, uh, him and Braswell. Uh, oh, and, uh, listen, it might be, look, the, the <laughs> defensive ends, the edges, this is as good as it gets for Bama. I agree with you. I just make a point. You know, people want to talk about J.J. being something that I largely don't think he is. These are the moments you get to show you are. He has to be the unicorn. He's got to run. He's got to be able to extend plays. And then, yes, he has the ability, Rob, to make NFL throws on the edge. It's got to be. It's got to be now. You you talk about extending plays though. Uh, he doesn't have any. Um, I like the tight end, but I mean you're not going to extend a play to a tight end. And their defensive backs on Alabama. I just I think Michigan is very similar to Georgia, offensively, like just very similar structure wise, personnel wise. And Alabama kind of you know they shut them down in the SEC championship game. So I, I, I think. It's going to go to Bama. I think it's going to be close, but I don't think Michigan is going to win. All right. Really hey, Rob, believe me. Uh, you wouldn't see me crying any tears. I'm just making a point. I try to shoot my listeners straight with it. I just think it's very bizarre. They're sitting there as a one-and-a-half-point favorite. Everybody's talking down on U of M, and you know uh, I, I'm no fan of theirs. But this is not – I am just not ready to, to approach this like – Old school Bama. I can't. I watched this team all year. Watched them beat Arkansas by three. Watched them struggle with AM, win by six. Watched them struggle with South Florida. Oh, it's a monsoon. I don't care. You're 32 point favorites. Like I've watched them all year. I watched Sarkeesian and Quinn Ewers roll into Tuscaloosa and abuse that secondary. Abuse them. I just don't want to let the one game against Georgia, I don't want to overreact to it. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. 